Shabbat Shalom. Often we find in life that doing the right thing requires us to stand up in the face of others. It requires us to do something very hard, unpopular. But doing the right thing is most meaningful. It counts the most when it is hard to do, when we do it even though everybody around us may not be. In this week's Torah portion, we read about the very complicated relationship between Joseph and his brothers. Joseph regales his brothers of his dreams that he has, and in these two dreams, metaphorically, his brothers bow down to him. It's foreshadowing because we know that someday off in the future, they will bow down to him. But by sharing the dreams, Joseph's brothers begin to be very jealous of him, and the Torah tells us that they hated him. One day when Joseph goes out to see how they are tending and herding the sheep in the fields, the brothers see him coming and they decide that their anger will lead them to kill him. Hearing about this, Reuben, the eldest of the brothers, stands up and says, No, you cannot kill him. It's wrong. You cannot do this. But rather than saving him completely, Reuben allows the brothers to put Joseph into a pit and to ultimately sell him into slavery. You get the sense from the text that Reuben knows what the right thing is and desperately wants to do the right thing, but he's unable to execute it. I can imagine it was probably very difficult for Reuben to go against the rest of his brothers and to express a wish that was probably very unpopular for them. But that is what doing the right thing is all about. And Reuben gets a little bit of the way, but he doesn't complete it. Our challenge in everyday life as human beings is to not only get a little bit of the way, but to get all the way. To figure out a way to do what is right. Usually, more often than not, we know exactly what it is. But when it's challenging, when we have to do it by standing up in the face of tyranny, by standing up in the face of others, it's not such an easy task. But when we do it, it's so meaningful and creates such a goodness within our lives. Good luck. Shabbat Shalom.